guys. Day three, ride two. In search of gravel. Now I was going to head to Nanango via old Yarraman Road today, but uh, I've decided to do a different route. There's Kelly Commute telling me where to go. So I caught up with a guy last night, he called in to say good day. He works at Yarraman. Um, Jamie S. And he follows me on social media, on Instagram and YouTube and Strava. And he was telling me of a few routes that he does uh, on a regular basis. So the one I'm doing today is heading south and then southeast and then back into Yarraman. Has about 450, maybe 500 metres of climbing most of which are in the first 14 kilometres. Um, I'm going to see how I go when I get, if I get that far. But yeah, he was also telling me that there's water across um, where the old Yarraman Road, Yarraman Creek flows over. It's still quite deep there. So I'm a sook, don't want to get my feet wet. So I'm going to head this way. See how far we go. Uh, it should be interesting. It's, most of it's, um, I think it's through the Palms National Park and through Pidna National Park. So we'll check it out, eh? Let's keep going. And this is the little township of Yarraman, which is the uh, which hosts the head of the Rail Trail, Brisbane Valley Rail Trail. And then we're going to shoot up around here and onto the New England Highway for a short bit. So it's about quarter past midday and I told myself yesterday that I wasn't going to ride in the heat of the day but it was blowing the dog off a chain this morning and uh, fell hell off a bit and the wind has backed off a bit and we have uh, Strong west southwesterlies I'm pushing straight into at the moment. Hopefully they'll stick around for the trip home. I shouldn't have said that. Good news is I've got my pants on today. It's always a bonus when you remember your pants. Here we are turning on to Holmes Road. And we'll follow this way for 8.9 kilometres. And up ahead is what we come for. Houston, we have gravel. Oh, just catch me breath and have a drink, getting off that highway. Hopefully these uh, trees down this southern side are just going to shelter me. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Got Maggie up there in the tree. I wonder if he's waiting for me to ride off. So we've come on to Upper Yarraman Road now and uh, dead centre of towns down that way. It's 
back on the blacktop. So, I don't know if you can see that there, I'm just showing you that we are in the process of climbing at the moment. We're on one of those long 1% inclines and uh, straight into the headwind, which you know how much I love that. So yeah, um, I don't, I've never been this way, so I don't know. According to commute, uh, according to commute that, according to commute this second climb here, there's some eight and nine percenters on that one there. So that's if I make it that far. <sighs> Even with my face bluff all the way up under my glasses and this strong wind, the flies are really bad and sticky. I always keep one of those face nets in my kit. But, uh, for some reason, uh, like my bike pump. <laughs> yeah, forgot that too. Um, yeah, I always keep them in, but anyway. This is what uh, riding a bike to me is all about guys, just being out in the open, not worried about going fast, beautiful scenery, leg burning hills, soul crushing headwinds, yeah all the fun stuff. No, but seriously, look, you've got awesome green rolling hills like this. You know, there's no Strava KOMs to worry about, no PBs. Just do your bike in a road. And it doesn't matter how fast or how slow you go. It's just all up to you. Now it looks like we're starting to get a bit serious. Old Kamut says it's two percent. I don't think so. Kamut lies. Guys, I uh, I'm just under 11 k's in, and I'm going to have to call it. I'm feeling fine. I'm all right. I'm not tired or anything, but I'm starting to get some really bad pains in the stomach, and uh, my stoma. Uh, it's starting to feel funny and I don't have any spare colostomy pouches with me so if I continue I could end up in the shit literally or actually so unfortunately I'm gonna to have to call it guys um, but that's the way it goes I should I should pack one with me I don't know why I don't I'll remember that next ride all right guys I'll check in when I get back to the car. It's a shame too, because I was having a really good day. Bugger. The old crow there, feeding her magpie. No, I shouldn't call him a crow, they're not a crow, they're a native raven, Australian raven they're called. I didn't get him on camera but I stopped back here because just before that white guidepost up there was a big brown snake, he must have been about six foot long so I'm just making sure he's well and truly off the road. Where I head up there. One good thing about our venomous snakes here is that if you just stand back and let them go, I'll go about their business. Uh, I'll stay away from them if they stay away from me. I reckon that's a pretty good deal. Oh, here we go. It's back at the car. Oh, I mean, I am so much pain. Oh, all right, guys. Cheers, I'm going to leave it here. See you in the next one, eh?
Well, hey guys, that was a, quite a, an abrupt end to that uh, ride yesterday. It's the following day now. Um, it appears that I haven't just had a case of angry stoma. I've come down with some food poisoning. I had some um, pasta and tuna ready meal in a container that I've, you know, one of the ones that only you buy off the store shelves. And I had it before I rode yesterday just to give me some extra energy. And, uh, well, without getting too expletive, uh, that appears to be the culprit. Um, I'm feeling like a bus has hit me this morning. Um, I'm not doing anything today. It's it's a cool day, so it's perfect for just I'm just going to sleep in the in the swag today. So I'm not I'm not going to worry about too much today. I'm going to see how I feel tomorrow, and I have yeah you know, I have to eventually pack up from here. So depending on how I feel, um, if I feel a whole lot better, I'll continue south. Uh, if I feel anything like today um, I'm gonna have to pack up and go home I, I want to go south I want to continue on this um, but yeah you can't help this sort of crap oh so I'm just having a cup of tea now I'm trying just trying to keep fluids up to me and hide hydrate it uh, as best I can so um, this is more the official ending of this video so cheers guys and ride safe out there eh